So far, so good for Cambridge and Oxford. Both celebrating opening day victories, making this one hard to call. The result in the Varsity Derby, far from academic. Who will be able to build on Saturday's success to finish the first week joint top of the Blue Square Premier table? Oxford in their change kit tonight of predominantly blue, kicking from right to left in the first half. Off the back of all Brighton's head and Trainer got a side of goal, wasn't afraid to try his luck from distance. That was well done there by Boylan. Chase to loss, calls, end up nicking it off Galore. He's done very, very well there. And then Boylan trying to get in, he's had a penalty. Did Billy Turley bring him down? Turley having an altercation inside the penalty area with Lee Boylan. Turley felt that Boylan dive. And the referee had a good long look at it. Morris. Pettifer read his intentions and can lead the counter attack now for Oxford. Duffy. Janine. Good ball in. Hutchinson couldn't quite reach it. It's headed for. And the offside flag stays down. 1 0 to Oxford United. Gary Twig on target. And Oxford take the lead in the final five minutes of the first half. Well, who's it? That man there who's been prominent throughout for Oxford was Janine there. He's been out there. He's been delivering balls, quality balls his left foot. That was a great ball across there. Good clearance at the end, but there it was. Duffy's sitting there doing what he's good at, scoring goals. Just cleared his lines there, weren't going to muck about, just wants to keep everything right. No need to push or take any chances there now, Oxford. Just got to wait and see what a Cambridge going to offer against them. Boylan. Wollaston. And helped forward intelligently by Quinton for Gleeson. Boylan trying to get in there, and it's deflected wide for the first corner of the game. Pettifer, Root Monster for Gary Twig, Reed, Paul Brighton, pass of the game so far, Gleeson, he's done brilliantly, options in the centre for him, including Fortune West, it's 1-1, the best move of the game, resulting in a you said it all there, Jim. That was the best moment of the game. Fantastic ball out there by All Brighton. Out to Gleeson. Gleeson's done absolutely wonderful there. First of all, with his touch, and then he's actually nutmeg Janine now. Just come inside him. Great little clip there. And there he is, the man for all occasions when the ball comes in the box. It's Fulton West with a great downward header there, giving Turley not a chance from that distance. He scored a few like that in his career. I don't think he enjoyed many of them as much as he enjoyed that one. Not too much to choose between the sides. Cambridge might feel that they've had the better of it over the 54 minutes so far. Here's Marv Robinson. Pettifer. Started his career at Portsmouth, as did this man, Matt Day. is a ferocious shot. Was it handball by Reed? Referee doesn't want to know. Hutchinson have made the run forward. Just couldn't divert his header either side of Potter. Launch forward again by Potter. Now Gleason. Going to take on Janine again, and he's got it across again. Off the top of the bar. Cambridge's first change inside the final quarter of an hour of the game. Is Gleason. Boylan. It's done brilliantly. Lee Boylan off the post. Well, well, that is Lee Boylan, as I've always known him there. He's there, Hutchinson's there. So too is Gnor, and it was Robinson that met it, and sends a free header skying over the bar. Well, very well this evening.
free kick taken by Quinn. Another header misses the target. Arthur Ganor this time. Oxford holding a line across the edge of the area as Pitt flights it in. It's come back up the heels of Rendell. Boy, the oh. time is running. Three and a half minutes in the stopping time. Lee Boylan does to Oxford what they themselves did to Forest Green on Saturday. Delight for Jimmy Grinnell. Like I said, I set the gillet in the mixer. Pitt knocks it in towards Rendell. Rendell doesn't actually get a touch of his head. Kazmak hits him on his heels. Falls to Boyle and didn't even touch it. Only the one touch, I should say. Just spins his body round and just swings at it. Gets his foot around it and just knocks it to the keeper's left in the side netting. You can't pull it anywhere better than that. And unsighted turn he was. Couldn't see it till late. Fantastic moment for Boyland. Hasn't had much luck in front of the goal this evening. He gets it right at the end. Now in the fifth minute of the three, added on. And that is that. Lee Boyland continues his record. The new signing for Cambridge, scoring in every game in which he's played. It's Jimmy Quinn's Cambridge who continue their 100% record in the most dramatic of circumstances.